So Not yeah, far away. Not a sport. We need a Vogue, and uh, it's got to sit right on the price as well. I knew it. He always has something for us. <laughs>
I'm looking for a Range Rover Vogue, mm -hmm. uh, maybe an autobiography, maybe a normal version, depending on price and deal that we can get. It's for the pet fleet. Mm -hmm. um, so Not yeah, enough. far away. Not a sport. We need a Vogue, and uh, it's got to sit right on the price now. as well. I knew it. He always has something for us. Voila. Woof. Okay. So this is an autobiography Vogue. 4.4 V8. Wow. Uh, rear screens in the back. 22 inch wheels. Okay. Well, it's, you want a tow bar, do you? No, no, definitely. Actually, saying that, we might need a tow bar for the trailer, but probably not on this one. And I can see that this colour is not exactly a black. It's like a, it's like a, a deep red. It's called Rosello Red. Rosello Red. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What does it feel like jumping into the back? Oof. I think my customers would really enjoy this if you're being chauffeur driven in it. You have the TVs. Um, this stays in the middle. That's deployable, so it can fold back up. Oh, and you can make it three seats as well. Yeah. But right now, it's got like the uh, the theatre configuration, like in a Rolls Royce, where the the middle is all like uh, a nice big armrest. And these seats recline back. Yeah, you've got the rear screens on there, which are touch screens. Mm -hmm. Full pan roof as well. Because it's the um, facelift model, you've got the new dashboard with the uh, infotainment, two screens, uh, and the new front seats as well. Wow. Well, when you say the new front seat... So they're wider, they're more comfortable. Okay, what well, compared? Oh, and, and and Carlos, another thing that I love is that the the buttons have become minimal as well. Um, a lot of Touch Pro Duo is the name of the new system. So you've got touchscreen at the top, touchscreen at the bottom. Um, the driver information display is now got more content as well, and the steering wheel buttons are now touchscreen as well. And a lot of leather everywhere, hence why it smells so much of leather. But even the roof lining, everywhere you touch and feel, lots of lots of leather. Uh, you've got the deployable steps as well. But one thing that I'm not too sure about, and I, I don't know how we're going to play, but I've never, well, it's interesting, it's different, but a silver roof, it contrasts well with the, with the door handles, obviously with the wheels and stuff, yeah. but... And the silver on the vents as well. So, we ordered it for the showroom for that reason, this car. Okay, and do you have any more options? I've got a green one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is something very, very tasty. It looks different, but very tasteful. I love the, I love the, um, I love the creme interior with the green. Yeah, so this one's, this one's locked up at the moment. I don't have a key for it, but mm. it's a special vehicle color, British racing green, ultra metallic. Um, then with the full ivory interior, um, ebony carpets, ebony headlining. Is there much nice of a price one. difference between the two? Uh, there's about 10 grand in it, I think. Woo! I think this green is something that well, yeah, I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. It looks very different, very special. But then again, I like, I like the fact that this is probably 10K cheaper. And it also looks, also looks quite, quite fresh. Uh, it's, it's got qu quite a different spec onto it. The wheels on this are similar to the old Vogue that I had, whereas this yeah. has got the news. Are the wheel upgrades quite, uh, much more? No, same price. Same price. Same mm. price. Okay. Okay. Well, from this point onwards, we're just going to have a little chat and see what we can do with this car. I've got to arm uh, wrestling now for some money. That's it, and then we'll see where we go from there. But normally, Carlos is very supportive. Um, it's not just buying uh, the car that's important. It's the after sales. It's the way that you're looked after afterwards from servicing um, and all of that sort of stuff. So you've got to, you've got to make sure you, you go to the right dealer and make sure you get the right service through. And, and Carlos has always given us 12 out of 10, so that's why he's like family. Oh, but. Man. We gotta have a little chat right now, and we'll be with you in a second. <laughs> it's kind of nice that uh, that that Range Rover has uh, a black feel to it on the night, but then uh, when the sun's out, you can kind of see that deep kind of uh, what is it like a, a ruby, like a ruby red. Um, there's a more sun here in this corner. Let's have a look at this. Ah. This is a lot of car. These Bentley Mulsans, I feel, are a lot of value for money. You can probably pick one up for about 80 to 100,000 uh, pounds. These brand new are probably like 220, 200,000. And it's a lot of car. I mean, just look at it. And this one here is priced up at 100,000. Uh, it's a lot of car for 100,000. You can drive it yourself. It has got good performance figures. So. I don't know if I've made the right decision, but we're going to be going for the, I think we're going to be going for the black one. Um, Carlos has just gone to go do some number crunching. Um, once he gets back, we either shake on it or we don't. We disagree and we go around in circles and we have to look for another car, but 
I'm hopeful we'll get there. At the end of the day, they, these guys like to make deals happen. They like, they like things to be done out here, so that's why we're here. A lot of people also ask me, Aline, why haven't you got a Range Rover SVR? Uh, this question is, I don't actually know. If you guys feel that the Pet Fleet needs a Range Rover SVR, comment below. Um, I, feel, I feel that it's a very interesting car. It's a lot of car. However, right now, we have uh, a fair bit of demand for the Vogue, so uh, we're going to go for that for now. And then we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hey guys, listen, if we don't end up buying a car from today, at least we've got a fruit shoot out of it. <laughs> see, this is what the British weather is all about. One minute you have like rain pouring down. What the hell? T50 pet. <laughs> That's not what it was. That's so cool to see another pet number plate. I get this, ha this happens quite often. Like you'll get DMs and stuff for people sending you pet number plates on different types of cars. But uh, yeah, that is not one of mine, but nice to see a pet number plate out and about. That's, that's a pet number plate as well. Right, what were the chances, huh? T50 pet. Wicked, thank you. No worries, so when you finish doing that? You've done more than enough for me, man. Thank no, you so no much. I just love it when we can make things happen. Super excited. Welcome home, little baby. And let's run the B-roll on this thing. Guess where we're going now? Going to go have a look at a Range Rover SVR. So, so we've done the Vogue autobiography and I was just mentioning to Carl that I think I'll be needing an SVR next. He's taking me around the back. This is not good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This was gonna go in the showroom, so it's all clean, ready for the showroom. Yeah. And the guys bought it before it's even hit the showroom. Oh, wow. It's this gray one. Ah, it's nice. So many of these in bright colors and uh, blues and these weird and wacky colors that when you see one in a, in a gray or a black, I think it looks so stealthy. Come, come have a look at it from this angle. This hasn't got the carbon bonnet, but I think it, it's, not, it's not overdoing it too much. It, it, sits, it sits just right. You can make SVRs look really, really in your face sometimes, but this one, I think a lot of gray, nice breakdown of black on the front. And they sound beastly as well, so, mm, interesting. On all new SVRs, the bonnets are always carbon, it's just that it's not exposed carbon. Yes, yes, yes. But, but that's an extra, right, to have it in exposed. Mm. Well, I think this one is sold, so are we yeah. going to have to go on to the lookout? Didn't even hit the showroom. Yeah, didn't even hit the showroom, there we go. Oh, when you're pulling out deals like you do, now they're all going to think there's some serious oh, no, offer. <laughs> this is you. wrong. He's going to get it's hassled. It's, exactly. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So this one's sold, guys, but it's something to think about. Um, the SVR is a hot car. It is something that my clients would really enjoy. So it's something to think about. Uh, maybe Carlos will have something for us in a few months or whatever. They'll give us a call. I'm very happy with the deal that I got. Uh, hooked up as always, Carl has been fantastic. Uh, not just on this sale, but on many previous of a, a Range Rover sale. Um, so yeah, very happy with it and couldn't have asked for a better dealership to buy it from. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe, share and like for more. And that was it for today's car shopping. I'll catch you for another video. Take it easy guys, God bless, bye bye.